Hello everyone. Let's dive into the world of real-time scheduling. In this video, we'll explore the rate monotonic and earliest deadline first scheduling algorithms, two fundamental techniques for ensuring timely execution in critical systems. What exactly is real-time scheduling? Well, it's a scheduling technique specifically designed for time-critical systems. This means tasks must complete their execution before a specific deadline. It ensures predictable execution times, which is absolutely critical for embedded systems, industrial controls, and robotics where timing is everything. Let's look at some key parameters. First, the period denoted as T, which is the time interval between task arrivals. Next, the execution time denoted as C, which is the CPU time needed to complete the task. The deadline, denoted as D, is the time by which the task must finish. And finally, the release time, denoted as R, is when the task becomes available for execution. Tasks can be classified in the following ways. Hard real-time tasks. Missing a deadline is considered a system failure. Soft real-time tasks. Missing a deadline simply degrades the system's performance. Periodic tasks. Tasks that repeat at fixed intervals. Aperiodic tasks. Tasks that occur irregularly. Rate monotonic scheduling, or RMS, is a static priority assignment method where tasks with shorter periods are assigned higher priorities. This makes it optimal for fixed priority preemptive scheduling. Note that this assumes that the deadline is equal to the period, that is, d equals t. A set of n tasks is schedulable if the sum from equals 1 to n of c sub i divided by d sub i is less than or equal to n multiplied by the quantity 2 to the power of 1 over n minus 1. As n approaches infinity, the utilization bound approaches the natural log of 2, which is approximately equal to 0 0.693. Let's consider an example to illustrate how rate monotonic scheduling, or RMS, works. Imagine we have two tasks. Task 1 has a period of 4 and an execution time of 1, giving it a high priority. Task 2 has a period of 6 and an execution time of 2, and therefore has a low priority. The utilization is 1 over 4 plus 2 over 6, which equals 0 0.25 plus 0 0.33, resulting in 0 0.58. The bound, calculated as 2 multiplied by the quantity 2 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1, is approximately 0 0.83. Since 0 0.58 is less than 0 0.83, the task set is schedulable. In the schedule, task 1, having the higher priority, preempts task 2 when both are ready. As a result, all deadlines are met. Earliest deadline first, or EDF, is a dynamic priority assignment technique where tasks with earlier deadlines get higher priorities. The priorities are recalculated at each scheduling point, making it optimal for dynamic priority preemptive scheduling. A set of n tasks is schedulable if the sum from equals 1 to n of c sub i divided by t sub i is less than or equal to 1. Note that EDF can achieve 100% CPU utilization in theory. Although it's more efficient than RMS, it has a higher runtime overhead. Let's consider an example of earliest deadline first, or EDF scheduling. We have two tasks. Task 1 has a period of 4, an execution time of 1, and a deadline of 4. Task 2 has a period of 6, an execution time of 2, and a deadline of 6. The utilization is 1 over 4 plus 2 over 6, which equals 0 0.25 plus 0 0.33, resulting in 0 0.58. The EDF bound is 1.0. Since 0 0.58 is less than 1.0, the task set is schedulable. At time 0, task 1's deadline of 4 is earlier than task 2's deadline of 6. At time 4, task 1's new deadline of 8 is later than task 2's deadline of 6. As you can see, priorities change dynamically based on the deadlines. Let's compare rate monotonic scheduling, or RMS, with earliest deadline first, or EDF. RMS uses static priority assignment based on periods, with a utilization bound of approximately 69.3% as n approaches infinity. 
it has lower runtime overhead because priorities are fixed and is predictable in overload situations. RMS is optimal for fixed priority scheduling and assumes the deadline equals the period, that is, D equals T. In contrast, EDF uses dynamic priority assignment based on deadlines and has a theoretical utilization bound of 100%. However, it has a higher runtime overhead due to recalculating priorities and is unpredictable in overload situations. EDF is optimal for dynamic priority scheduling and can handle arbitrary deadlines where D does not equal T. In summary, real-time systems require predictable timing guarantees. Rate monotonic scheduling, or RMS, uses static priorities based on periods, while earliest deadline first, or EDF, uses dynamic priorities based on deadlines. EDF achieves higher CPU utilization, up to 100%, while RMS is simpler to implement and analyze. EDF is more flexible for varying deadlines. Schedulability tests ensure all deadlines are met. The choice between RMS and EDF depends on your specific system requirements and constraints. Thank you. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.